Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Knowing the Holy Spirit as a person is absolutely critical for every single believer. You see, brothers and sisters, regeneration is evidenced in our lives by the Holy Spirit life in and through us. And believers in Jesus Christ are given power by the Holy Spirit to resist the sin and to resist Satan and his, his emissaries and to obey God and, and serve him. The Holy Spirit engages uh, in the work of sanctification and consecration. He cleanses us and, and, and as we so, so, so surrender ourselves to him as we as we commit ourselves to him he cleanses us from inward sin and and carnal weaknesses he sets us free from indwelling sin in our lives as the holy spirit lives in and through us he he, he our lives become that which God intended for it to be. Because without the Holy Spirit in our lives, we're going to want to do our own thing and we're also going to live according to the dictates of Satan. As indicated earlier, the Holy Spirit is the believer's source of strength and, and, and power for service in the kingdom of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ, therefore, admonishes his disciples in Acts chapter 1 and the verse 8. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So, believers are empowered by the Holy Spirit to, to be effective witnesses for Jesus Christ. Let me say that one more time. Believers are empowered by the Holy Spirit to be effective witnesses of our Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't it sad therefore my brothers and sisters that in our day uh, many of us as believers often do not recognize the Holy Spirit as a person but as a force, an influence, a power, something. We often say that we do understand that the Holy Spirit is a person and the third person of the Godhead. But we often as a church, especially those of us as Pentecostals and Charismatic, we often uh, solely uh, understand or express our worship of the Holy Spirit as, as a force. You know, we, we, we rely on him for for, for casting out demons and, and with the rise of, of deliverance ministries, the Holy Spirit is often not, not, not worshipped as he should be, but 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 you know he, he he is seen as a war machine. You know, we pull him out during times of war and we engage in spiritual warfare, and that's when the Holy Spirit becomes active in our lives. But brothers and sisters, the Bible teaches that the Holy Spirit comes upon us. The Holy Spirit baptizes the believer for service, to be witnesses of our Lord Jesus Christ. Loved ones, let us remember that the scripture teaches that the Holy Spirit is a person, the third person of the Godhead. And every believer, every believer needs to become intimate with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit emboldens us. The Holy Spirit empowers us and makes us into confident, courageous witnesses for the Lord Jesus Christ. Think about the disciples who were discouraged and disappointed and disillusioned and distressed after the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. And they were hiding from the authorities. They cowered, every single one of them, including Peter, cowered when they thought of the Roman authorities and the Jewish political and religious establishment. They cowered and they hid themselves. But oh, when they received the power of the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost, their lives were transformed. 
It was unbelievable. Their Jewish religious authorities could not understand how how ordinary, unschooled, uh, you know, fishermen, how they could have been so bold, so courageous, and defend the gospel of Jesus Christ so eloquently. Think for a moment. Do not rely on the Holy Spirit just for, for, for warfare. Do not rely on the Holy Spirit just for, for, for uh, driving demons out. Don't rely on the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, for our own purposes. Let's get back to the scriptures. Let's get back to the word of God and let us rely on the Holy Spirit for wisdom and for courage to be witnesses of our Lord Jesus Christ. We really need to get back to center, my brothers and sisters. And today is a good day to get back to center and to remember that the Holy Spirit empowers us, prepares us, mentors us, trains us to be witnesses of Jesus Christ. Do you want to be a witness today? In a day when millions are dying without Jesus Christ, the millions of us who have come to know him if we do not rely on the Holy Spirit to cause us to be bold witnesses, then we're just going to sit by and watch people die and go to hell. Is that what you want? No, I don't think so. So today, let us rely on the Holy Spirit. Let's seek the Holy Spirit to empower us that we may be bold witnesses for the Lord Jesus Christ. Should you desire more support in this matter, feel free to text the number 647-309-7302 and someone is standing by ready to support you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, your relatives, associates, neighbors, and all those persons in your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom.